Yes. On this bitterly cold day, it may seem strange to talk about something that is warming the planet, but contrails those wispy condensation lines from airplanes are doing just that, and it's not good. Here's National Environmental Correspondent David Schechter with a potentially easy solution on the horizon. Ever look up at the sky on a clear sunny day and see a thin white feathery line? That is a condensation trail or a contrail. It's just water vapor left behind by an airplane, but it can trap in heat. And a recent report says contrails account for about 35% of the aviation industry's global warming impact. American Airlines wants to change that. It ended up being honestly a lot easier than I expected. That's Jill Blickstein, Vice President of Sustainability at American. They recently joined a study led by Google and Breakthrough Energy, an organization that develops new technology to help reduce emissions. The companies used artificial intelligence and satellite imagery to identify which flight routes create the worst contrails. Then it was up to the pilots. The way to avoid the contrail is to descend a little bit. Think like 2,000 feet, 4,000 feet. That's because contrails form when airplanes fly through layers of humidity at higher altitudes. Over six months during 70 test flights, pilots use the data to make minor flight adjustments, just like they do for turbulence, and that produced fewer contrails. This sounds really simple, but it couldn't have been. I would say it's actually leaning into what we're really good at. We do a lot of flight planning all the time. This is just one more thing you're adding in. When a flight descends to avoid making a contrail, it burns 2% extra fuel. So that's a trade-off. But since only 15% of flights are actually causing the problem, Google estimates across an airline's entire fleet, we're only talking about 0.3% more fuel in exchange for eliminating heat trapping contrails. On the other hand, if instead of just a few test flights, every airline put this solution into play, it could create a traffic control issue. But the skies are crowded up there. And so uh, we have to see if we can do, if we can do this, obviously with no impact on safety, but also in kind of a way that doesn't put too much extra burden on the control tower. It's One way to address that burden would be to build those maneuvers into a pilot's flight plan before they ever take off. Blickstein says she's talking to other airlines that are really interested in what American learned, and she thinks industry-wide contrail avoidance could take flight in the next two to five years. I'm David Schechter reporting.